I'm so tired, oh my god. Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Pretty Good Cooking. Pretty uh, good. Tonight on the show we're gonna figure out, can we film a PGC and also can I take care of Arthur at the same time? Arthur's chilling over there. Say hi, Arthur. You don't know how to say hi yet. Okay, uh, I'm gonna teach you how to make chicken salad. Now that's not that exciting for a lot of people, but chicken salad is underrated. Its primary ingredients are chicken and mayonnaise. You know, two typically white things that when you put them together form a white thing. All right, let's begin. I got my pot. We're going to, uh, we're gonna poach the chicken. I've been poaching a lot of chicken these days. And I think part of why I like poaching the chicken is it creates a, a pretty tender, nice chicken. Vinny, Vinny! I like poaching chicken because it creates a, a tender chicken and you don't have to keep an eye on it. Which is really handy when you gotta keep an eye on somebody else. Isn't that right out there? He's pretty stoic right now, I don't know what's up. So I got a couple cloves of garlic and uh, an old wedge of lemon. And uh, do, do I got any bay leaves? I got, I think I got one half of a bay leaf left. Perfect. Okay, and so what we're gonna do is add just a little bit of water to the pot, enough to submerge the chicken, which will be chicken breast on this uh, occasion. And we will get that cranked and we'll wait for that to boil. Okay, while uh, we're waiting for the water, we can work on other things. Something that is in, not in every chicken salad, but is in many of them, is something that adds a little bit of crunch. Probably the most popular thing will be celery. We'll just use one, one big rib. One big rib of celery. Other popular things could be uh, onion, or even uh, like apples. Apples are pretty common. But we're just gonna do some minced up celery. And we'll use the whole rib, why not? Probably plenty. Okay, many, uh, many chicken salads will have an onion flavor. We're just gonna use a green onion today, but if you wanted to use a shallot, or even like a conventional onion. If you were to use a conventional onion, I would recommend shocking the onion in a little bit of ice bath, ice water essentially, with the idea that you take out a little bit of the bite so that it becomes a, uh, you know, you know, like you want your chicken salad to taste, but you don't want it to taste you know, too much. So otherwise you'll shock the old ladies that you're feeding it to. I do kind of think chicken salad is a little bit of an old lady food, but I also think it's underrated. Like you, you know, if you put the effort into making something taste good, it'll taste good. And this is uh, definitely, definitely the case, even though it's simple. Uh, I think we'll just wait for now on the rest of the stuff, but we got our, our stuff chopped and we'll just be waiting for a minute for our water to come up to heat. We'll go bounce that baby, be right back. All right, so our water is simmering. It's actually boiling. So we'll just have, we got some chicken breast. Got this chicken breast on flash sale from a Kroger delivery. They got me with hot dogs the other day. Been eating a lot of hot dogs lately, you know. As a, as a new father, I'm short on time. Those convenience meals, they really come in clutch. Okay, so uh, you pop your chicken in there. If you, uh, if you have the patience for it, you get a better result if you can get the water to come up to a temperature just a little bit. So you can see I crank the heat back up. And honestly, if you just see bubbles, like any amount of bubbles at all, maybe a little steam, yeah. Then you just turn the heat off, pop the lid on there, and we'll check it. For about 15 minutes, it might take a little bit longer, might take a little bit less longer, shorter, might take a little bit shorter, might take a little bit shorter, sounds weird. Okay, so it took a little longer than I thought it would. The temperature in my pot fell faster than I was expecting. And as a result, it took a while for the, the heat to transfer to the chicken. Okay, so like if we just you know keep letting it go, okay, there's our 160. Okay, we, imagine we live in an ideal world. We don't. You would let this chicken cool down before doing anything with it, and you will have nicer chicken. But I'm in a hurry, because I gotta take care of that boy over there who's wiggling. You wiggling, Art? Right? So, I'm gonna try to cool down this chicken as fast as possible by throwing it in an ice bath. I think that might make the chicken bad, but I'm hoping that the chicken is good enough that by making it bad, it becomes okay chicken. Another thing that you have to decide is do you wanna shred the chicken or chop the chicken? I personally like a chopped chicken salad because I, I like the texture of it better. If you wanna shred it, you can shred it per your choosing. I've read, I've read that you can, uh, you can throw chicken in like a stand mixer with a paddle and that, uh, that, uh, you can shred it that way. Okay, so here's why we're putting the chicken in an ice bath. That boy's starting to get pissed. Okay, so I'm gonna strain the chicken, get rid of the, uh, the garlic and the lemon and the bay leaf. 
That there's a pot of boiled chicken, in case you didn't know what it looks like. All right. And then, we're just gonna throw some ice on it. Now this is gourmet cooking. And really the reason I'm worried about this is that mayonnaise gets weird when you heat it. So that's that's why I want the chicken to cool down. Okay, so while that's uh, that's chilling, we can work on uh, the rest of our salad. Salad's such a funny term in this context. Now I recommend you use a high quality mayonnaise such as Duke's or Hellman's. Don't use no crappy mayo. The mayo must be good. So we're gonna use quite a bit. Might need more, might need less, I don't know, you gotta eyeball it. I don't know. Who knows? Ah, I'm just, it's a recipe. <laughs> you can, uh, at its most basic, you could just stop here. It could just be mayonnaise and a little bit of crunch. <laughs> but of course, we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna, we're gonna uh, pump up the flavor. So I think a vinegar component is nice. Actually, we'll, we'll use this a little bit of rice vinegar just to give it a little bit of, of acidity in the salad. And then I'm going to add some ranch seasoning. I'm gonna add some of that. And then what I like to pair with ranch seasoning, a little bit of Cajun seasoning, a little, a little Cajun ranch angle. Not too much. We don't want our white chicken to taste too much, lest we offend someone's sensibilities. Okay. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna give that an initial mix. Kind of smells like ranch dressing, as you might expect. Well, probably we'll need some salt, but we'll add that after the fact. Also, hey, you can add a little uh, fresh dill if you got it. A little fresh dill. This uh, this particular fresh dill is like, I, I keep this around for making uh, fresh ranch dressing. And so I almost always have like a little bit of old shitty dill. And that's true to form is old shitty dill. Okay, and is our chicken cooled? Yes. And also it tastes fine too, so I'm glad that worked. Okay, here's our chicken. And you, what you want in an ideal world is it to be well coated, but not too wet. So you don't want it too runny. I actually kind of think I might have used just a little bit too much mayo, but you know, who's gonna complain? Nobody. Now, if you if you let this set and chill, it'll thicken up a little bit. Like even like with our cool cooled chicken or chilled chicken, it'll still be a little bit runny. But if we put this in the fridge and ate it tomorrow, you'd have more of that solid chicken salad texture. That I think like chicken salad being served ice cold is uh, awesome. Okay, uh, let's serve this up real quick. And I'll show you a couple of ways you can eat this. One is you can eat it as a, like a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Duh. I've got some fancy bread. This is Volkornbrot, which is brick bread. Now, this stuff's incredibly dense and uh, I like it. If you want to toast it, you can, but then your chicken salad is gonna be warm. Uh, so we'll skip that. And it is nice, but not necessary to at a minimum serve this with some lettuce. One for a crunch, but two to prevent your bread from getting uh, soggy. There's our lettuce. And actually, with a bread that is this thick and hearty, it actually kind of makes sense to have an open face sandwich. Because you eat two slices of this particular bread, you will uh, be chewing for a very long time. Pop our chicken salad on there. And if you don't like bread, or you're trying to watch your, your figure, you could just eat this in lettuce cups. And there is our chicken salad. Very basic, very simple. You can jazz it up to the moon and back. We're gonna eat it with uh, some soup today, some potato soup. We can have it with chips. You can have it with apples. There's like a million variants as well, so maybe I'll show you those in the future. But that is literally all the time I have for you today, PGC, because uh, I gotta go take care of my child. So that's how you do it. <laughs> we'll see you next time on PGC. Actually, I forgot that I gotta also eat this. Here's the... the... <laughs> all right, let's try that chicken salad. It's good, especially if you like the taste of mayonnaise. It tastes healthy, even though I don't think it is. And that's our show. Thank you for bearing with us while we figure out how I can have a family and try to keep doing this. Okay, bye. <laughs>